Ultra Man Two here. Um, today is a game update video, a game pickups video. Have not done one of these in uh, well a few months, I want to say. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, uh, this video is actually being recorded on Sunday. I just got home from the flea market. Uh, <laughs> uh, had a I just uh, got to hang out with uh, Aaron and Scott and them, which is a big, you know, big shocker and whatnot. Uh, so stay tuned for Aaron's video, um, his flea market video about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, have only six games to show, but it's a you know fairly decent little haul. Uh, two games came from Scott. Uh, three of these came from GameStop via a buy two get one free they were doing, and one came from Aaron. So we have one Nintendo game, and the rest are all PlayStation stuff. So first, we'll take a look at the Scott game. You give him that I got from Scott. Uh, this was originally, I believe, um, Scott had 20 on this, but he knocked it down to 15 along with another game that I paid 15 for. So making a total of 30. I kind of wanted it to be 25, a little bit cheaper, but uh, oh well. Uh, but I picked up a complete copy of Castlevania: Order of Ecclesia. I really hope I'm pronouncing that name right too. Um, usually, I like to think of you know Celestia from you know ponies and both of that just gets it right there. So Ecclesia, but uh, yeah, plays uh, very similar in the style of Castlevania: Symphony of the Night, um, which is kind of funny because every single Castlevania um, after Symphony of the Night, well, most of them at least, play in the very similar style of Symphony of the Night. Which is a lot of people's favorite Castlevania. It's mine too. Make I, I just like the entire like Metroid style uh, layout of it. But yeah, very very cool. Here's the front, and back. Oh, okay. Look out! <laughs> and the inside. So yeah. Um, so yeah, now I own all three uh, Castlevania games for the Nintendo DS. All I need now is Mirror of Fate on the 3DS, and then I'll have all the Castlevanias on the DS or whatever, so cool. There's also one, I think there's also one other game um, called Castlevania Order of the Shadow, I think it's called. I don't know what system that's at, that's even four. Uh, so if anyone knows, please let, let me know in the comments below, because I would like to actually know. Oh, and also, by the way, uh, sorry if I drink on camera. I'm actually really thirsty. Uh, it's hot as hell outside. It really is. Oh, that's good. That's good water. <clears throat> okay. So, next game. Now we're going on to all the PlayStation stuff. PlayStation. And the first one is actually a game from a buy two, get one free. Um from GameStop and it's people say it's not the best in the Tales of series but I want to try it out plus I believe that when this was released it was a GameStop exclusive so here it is we have Tales of Heart R yeah um, like I said I I play I only have a a couple of a few of the Tales of series at Tales of Symphonia Chronicle which I've beaten the first one now uh, it was a pain in the ass to do so I think I actually had to restart the game because I had to because I screwed up some shit and just it did not work out well. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, pretty cool. Front, back, and no manual on the inside. But I'm pretty sure that all Tail games never came with a manual. In fact, I'm pretty sure that all um, Vita games in general did not come with manuals. So uh, yeah, I'm. Now I have a total of five Vita games, and I'm trying to build the Vita collection up. Still want to get that Uncharted one and the Killzone one and whatnot. There's still like a bunch more I want to get. Like there's also the all the Hyper Dimension games on it. There's also um, a new Hyper Dimension game that came out for it. I think it's Hyper Dimension something plus Zombie or whatever. I, I, I really want to get that. Um, and uh, there's also the, the first segment Kagura that I want to get on the Vita. So yeah, um, okay, so next game is the second one that I got from Scott. Uh, this was 15 in general, so 30 bucks for both Castlevania and this. Like I said, I wanted to get it for like 25, but oh well. Um, but I picked up 
Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. This I've actually wanted to get for quite a while now. Um, I mean, I love playing old school Genesis games. Uh, fortunately, I don't own a Retron 5, which I really want one. Because, uh, granted, I only own three retro games. Um, but I really want to play some old school uh, re retro games every now and then. But this is probably the best way I can probably do so via, you know, playing a, a lot of them. So, this has 40 uh, old school Genesis games. Uh, like we have Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, 3. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, uh, Altered B, Street of Rage 1, 2, and 3, Golden Axe, uh, Shinobi 3, uh, Kid Chameleon, Vector Man 1 and 2, Echo the Dolphin, um, let's see what else, uh, the Fantasy Star series is also on here, and a bunch of other really cool games, and ones that I've never even heard of. So uh, this is going to be a pretty cool game to play when my friend Nicholas, or Nick, from Sweden uh, comes into town for MetroCon. In fact, uh, since this video is going to go up on Friday uh, of the recording of this video, it's uh, like 7? No, not 7. Uh, well, like, well, like 18? No, like, yeah, yeah, I think like 17 or 18 days away. Uh, now it's of course a lot shorter, it's cool. But uh, yeah, I'm getting really excited for MetroCon, so yeah. Also, I want to reiterate that uh, there will be no videos um, the week of and the week before, Met sorry, the week of MetroCon and the week after MetroCon, because I need to pack all, all my shit for the, the week of, and then for the week after MetroCon, I want to relax a little bit and probably start making videos near the end of that week, so yeah. But it's uh, pretty cool. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Oops. Damn, I'm just gonna get really fiddly. I'm about to make them fall. Yeah, cools, 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 cools. Okay, so next game is the second game from the Buy 2 Get 1 Free GameStop. Um, this one, I'm probably going to butcher the name. Um, yeah. <laughs> but we have our, our So Sergi Ode to an Unborn Star. Yeah. Um, actually, it's not as, it's not as bad as, uh, our Tona Quoga Nelalar Seal. Except for the PS3, that one's a pretty weird name. Um, but uh, yeah, good old anime RPG stuff, so yeah, um, never heard of this, although I believe that Scott said this is not the first game in the series, there actually is, I believe, a few more uh, that never came out here in America, I think some are all in Japan or whatever, so I think this is the only game that we got here in, uh, or this series that we got in America, so pretty cool, I am here to check it out. Also, if anyone has played that, please let me know if it's any good. Okay, so final game from the Buy 2 Get 1 Free Game stuff. This one I'm actually really excited to buy, well, to own, because it's the 15th, because this game marks the 15th anniversary of the Tales of series. And uh, it is Tales of Exilia, the first one. Um, been wanting to get this for quite a while, in fact. Uh, just never had the time to, probably because it just did not take that right price drop or whatever. Um, it's weird. Also, I just realized that this is a... That's weird. The barcode here says not for, for resale. That's weird. Hmm. I think this might have come out of the um, collector's edition, I want to say. Yeah. Hmm. I think this, this exact copy came out of the collector's edition. Um... Wow, that took you really cool. Um, also, I think it's kind of cool that um, the character in black there, I think he's the main character, uh, he kind of reminds me of Kirito from um, Sword Art Online. And the girl next to him kind of reminds me of uh, the female character, the female lead character in Sword Art Online too. Uh, I forget her name because it's been a while since I've actually watched um, Sword Art Online. But she's uh, kind of got orangish hair, elf ears, and 
got the spring break anime titties. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, also says here, theme song progressed by Ayumi Hama, Hamaski. I hope I'm pressing that name right too. I'm terrible at with Japanese names, by the way. But, uh, yeah. Front. I still need to pick up the uh, sequel. Instead of Tilted Auxilia 2. That is also pretty decently priced nowadays. I should, should probably buy that game as well. Uh, of course, no manual, but I think that all tail games that don't come with manuals nowadays. So it's like, whatever. And final game for this video. And this one I got from Aaron. It's a PS4 game. Originally, I had Batman Arkham Knight that I wanted to show, but um, it's funny because I got it on sale like a couple weeks ago, or last month in general, and I picked it up. And um, a week after I bought it, I'm I'm playing it and I'm really enjoying. It. I'm like half. I'm like I'm, I think I'm almost halfway through the story. Um, then I get. Uh, then I was looking on Facebook and I see that. Batman Arkham Knight Game of the Year Edition gets announced, so I'm like, fuck. I completely forgot that that was even going to be a thing. Um, so basically, I just beat the game, uh, and then I sold it along with Batman Arkham City and Arkham Asylum that I own, because two things. One, I want to get the Batman Arkham Knight Game of the Year Edition, that I think comes out in a few months, I believe. And two, so I can get the Batman Return to Arkham Collection, which is the Game of the Year editions of Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. They're being transferred to the PS4 in HD graphics or whatever, so... Or getting, like, an upscale or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for, for both those games. I'm probably going to get it for Christmas. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. But whatever. Uh, but... The final game for this update, uh, this one I've been wanting to get for quite a while now, uh, Joey, uh, who went off on Mama K, by the way, which I hope uh, you guys really enjoyed the um, the reaction video. Uh, please know I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'm not going to reaction to everybody, so uh, to, that, to that video anyways that I made. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up. Joey has been freaking screaming at me and my friend Neil to buy this. Um, but. I've always liked this game series, so I decided to finally pick it up for, for from Aaron for 30 bucks. Um, it's funny because Mike sold it to Aaron, and then Aaron sold it to me for 30. So cool with that. And this is why I believe like 55 pre-owned at GameStop. So playing 30 bucks for this, I'm hell down for that. So I so I finally I got my hands on Doom. Yeah, I am so excited to play this. Um, me, I'm a huge Doom fan. I've been playing Doom since. Probably uh, the first one, I believe. Uh, I, I love Doom 1, love Doom 2. I don't think I ever played the Doom, the final Doom, which I believe was an expansion to 2, so it's technically Doom 2.5. Uh, I played Doom 3 via the Doom 3 VFG edition, and uh, I get to play this. So this is Doom 4. So, yeah, really excited to finally play this. Looks really good. Also, I noticed that, I don't think a lot of people noticed, but on the front cover, if you really look at the front cover, you can actually see. Akashi? I actually see Doom Guy's face. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I, I didn't know that. I just noticed that now, in fact. Now, um, when I first got this, um, Mike had the reversible cover on it. Also, and the disc was severely fucking smudged because Mike takes really shit care of his games. Uh, thankfully, it was just all entire, it was just all smudges, and I was able to get them all out. Uh, yeah, so now it's like the disc is like brand new now. I will show the, um, alternate art, so just give me a second. Uh, here we have some inserts and shit, which, uh, at the season pass, and a ad for Dishonored 2, which I will not buy because I'm not a very big fan of Dishonored. Um, then here's the Demon Multiplayer Pack, which comes like a little bit of code. Uh, I'm gonna assume the code is used, but I'll try the code out, I guess. <clears throat> and then we have the supposed manual for the game. It's a kick-ass picture of the Cyber Demon. Love that new redesign, especially the head sculpt it looks really nice. I would I would not mind Nika to do a figure of the Cyber Demon. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, and the alternate art. Here is the alternate art. I would not mind this as a poster, by the way. Uh, also, um, you can kind of notice it via the bottom. It is kind of where bottom. 
So that's, that's my only complaint, but other than that, it's, it's fine. Like, I'm, like, it's a 95 good condition, which I'll take a 95. It's still an A. So, yeah. <clears throat> oh, me. Everything's all in nice condition. So, yeah, um... I'm not very big. I know that this game is multiplayer. Like I, I have PSN Plus, uh, but I only play certain multiplayer games. Like I only play really with friends, uh, like Corey and whatnot. Uh, with you know, like with Dragon Ball and stuff like that. So I, I really only play multiplayer games with them. Um, this I don't think I will play multiplayer because this is a game that does not need multiplayer. Um, just that's just me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new Doom. Uh, I'm really excited to play it. And, uh, holy shit, that, that 48 gigs of, like, uh, minimum, holy shit. Cannot wait to see, like, what the goddamn, um, <laughs> updates are, holy fuck. For that blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language, hell yeah. That is, that is just the American way of playing games. Gotta have intense violence, strong language, and blood and gore. That's a game made by America. Uh, which, by the way, a happy 4th of, Ju of July, by the way. This is, this is a July 3rd, so I might as well just say it. But this is going up, like, on Friday, so... But still, happy 4th. Cool. So, oh, I forgot, to get, I, know, I forgot to put the game in there. Uh, that would have been dumb. But they're Blu-ray discs, so whatever. You have to really try to uh, scratch a Blu-ray disc. So, yeah, um, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys all enjoyed. Um... Uh, again, let me know what you guys thought about every single game in this video, and why not let me know what you guys picked up this past couple, like this past week or a couple weeks or whatever, and uh, whatnot. So yeah, uh, what's your favorite favorite game from this lot that you think I'm gonna really really enjoy? I think I'm really gonna enjoy Doom because I love me some blood and gore and intense action and violence. Because that's yeah, Doom, really. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny because Doom, because uh, Doom One, Two, and Final Doom were all just just action-oriented games, then we, then we get to Doom 3, and it became a horror game, which was still a fun game, and I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, lie that Doom 3 was a fun game, it, it really was, people shit on it, but it's still, it's still a fun game, so whatever, um, but that one from what I've is doing really good reviews, um, uh, whatnot, I've actually watched a playthrough via Markiplier of Doom, he's a huge Doom fan, and whatnot, so yeah, um, but again, hope you guys all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, like I said, last week will be the final week of videos before MetroCon. So, yeah. I'm really excited for Metro. Uh, I'll try to get some video. I'll try, if I can, to get videos from MetroCon or whatever. Maybe like one small like five or so minute long video from the convention itself. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And sayonara.